Hi, I'm Arielle Hurst from scrumhub.com and welcome back to our series from the Agile Development Conference. This week we asked our panelists question two, which Agile principle do you think is most important? Though we received a bunch of different answers, many panelists thought the delivery of working software and business value was most important. Which principle, working software, is, is the value that I value the most? In fact, the, the principle behind that says working software is the primary measure of progress for teams. So that's also something a lot of Agile teams kind of forget. They get so busy with meetings and everything else that they don't realize that they're held accountable for actually delivering software. Working software is the primary measure of progress, so getting things to that finished state, getting the product increment, getting to done every sprint, not having carryover. Um, and so if we really measure our progress of getting things to the finish line, then we're going to be a lot better off and that's going to force us to figure out a lot of other things and a lot of other challenges that we have. Uh, concentrating on delivering working software. So many times we forget about who our customers are and we really, really need to focus on delivering the highest business value to our customers or end users. When the most important measurement is customer visible value, we know we're focusing on the right thing and incenting the right behavior across the teams. Well, I see, I think Agile is actually about incremental delivery of business value. It's not about team iterations. And uh, so the, the notion of adding value to the customer on an incremental basis driven from the business need, I'd say that's the most important one. One of the key ones is, is the continuous improvement because if we constantly are improving, even little tiny bits, then we're learning all the time and we will um, adapt the other principles, right? And, and remembering to keep it simple. A lot of times I go in and I talk to teams and they're trying to do their continuous improvement on big items instead of really thinking about the small chunks. So it all kind of intertwines. I think continuous improvement by a, by a long shot. I, you know, 10 years ago we were doing some technical practices we're not doing today. 10 years from now we'll probably be doing technical practices we've never even heard of. But if you're continuously improving and you set that up as the standard for, we iterate for a certain period of time and then we learn and we do that learning on purpose, then you're always going to find the best fit of what gets your work done for your context. So agile doesn't mean just following a certain set of practices and checking the boxes and saying that's agile, these things. Instead, it's a process of ongoing continuous improvement. Continuous improvement. Uh, it's all about learning and uh, improving from that. And the learning is not only about learning what is our velocity and what should we do. It's about learning your product better and learning your process better. By learning on the product and on the process level, in these two levels, you can make decisions on uh, improving and doing better. For me, is, is one of the four original tenets of the manifesto, which is responding to change over following a plan. Right, I think it was uh, maybe Eisenhower that said the plan is vital, but the plan is useless. No plan ever survives contact with the enemy. You need to have those plans, but you need to be flexible and willing and humble enough to say, you know what, the plan's not working, or the plan needs to be adjusted. We've encountered the enemy, we've encountered reality, we've encountered a customer. We now need to adjust and follow the new plan. So responding to change over following a plan. You know, I think, uh, to me, the, the, just the concept of team. You know, you talk about, uh, you know, some of the Agile principles and certainly responding to change uh, is, is critical, but getting back to the individual interactions, right? Uh, putting a good team together. I've seen so many cases where we use Agile, we use Scrum, and we expect good results without having a competent team. And I think it fundamentally comes down to putting the right people in the right position and giving them the right tools to be effective. Uh, so for me, it's, it's uh, less about Agile, it's more about the collaboration of good people working together. <laughs>